Hello YouTube, uh, this is just a quick review of the Spy 5000 motorcycle alarm. Um, I'll demonstrate what's required to trigger it. Now the alarm is set in silent mode, uh, so obviously not to disturb the neighbours. <coughs> but if we come to the bike, just lightly kick the tyre. There we go, the alarm is on, the little pager showing all the information that someone's kicking the bike and disarm it. <coughs> uh, let's just arm it again. So as you can see it's quite sensitive. Uh, any tiny bump can pretty much set it off. <coughs> see if I try to get on the bike. There we go, that's that set it off as well. Uh, let me see if I can get a clear picture. See, shows that someone's touching the bike. Storm it. Arm there again. Try to get off the bike. With that. I can't even get it off the bike without setting it off. Okay, there we go. It's back on. Uh, another feature has a microwave sensor. So, say if I just wave my arm around the bike for five seconds, to say if someone's like near the bike. So, that's going off as well, showing me that. The little triangle there means motion sensor is activated. Um, yeah, also you can adjust the sensitivity by holding this for a couple of seconds and then it will chirp the, uh, the amount of sensitivity it's set to. I've set it to the highest, um, but so far I've not had any false, false alarms or anything like that. Uh, the only false alarm I had, which if I put a cover on the bike uh, and the sun heats up the cover, <coughs> then obviously that that can set it up. Um, other than that, it's quite a, you know so far so far so good. Um, there's the installation. I put the DDD light there, so you can see how that works. Uh, I didn't clear up the cables yet, so you can kind of see it's a bit bit of a mess there. I'll need to use a cable tie or something. Uh, <coughs> but the alarm itself is installed under the seat. Uh, sort of where the ECU is so there's absolutely no way of seeing the alarm or getting to any cables because it's behind uh, let's see if we can get a picture of this uh, focus. right it's behind this plastic there and behind sort of this metal shielding and, the, and this cover so you would need to take this off and take the seat off so even tapping out the headset seal so you would need to um, take this plastic off take the seat off um, then take the entire fuse box, out, fuse box out, uh, and the alarm is sort of wedged between the battery and the ECU, sort of inside the seat. Um, yeah, what is it to say? The siren is very loud. <coughs> um, the, this little pager here is just quite big, but it's you know manageable. It uses normal AAA batteries. Um, yeah, if you're annoying things about the alarm, say if I if I disarm it and I don't put the key in the ignition, uh, then it actually rearms it <coughs> uh, within sort of 30 seconds ish. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of annoying. Uh, also, before it rearms, it does three chirps to remind you to, to arm the alarm, and then the, the entire page just starts vibrating as well. Uh, but other than that, it's you know it's quite a decent alarm. I've not had any false false alarms or anything like that, false alerts. Uh, and the page seems to work. It's obviously not the five kilometers or you know three miles that, that it was advertised. Uh, but so if I if I go up the road, you know down down that road over there and go through the shops, it, it still generally has weak signal, but it has some sort of signal that I might have to press the button a couple of times. Um, but overall, I'm not. I mean, considering it was was it sixty quid, you can probably get pick it up for about forty if you wanna. Uh, <coughs> fiddle with it a bit more because mine came with a uh, all the cables required. Um, but yeah, that's Zeus. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a quite a reasonable alarm. You know, it's definitely makes me sleep easier. And obviously, it doesn't replace the chain. You still want to chain it up. But if the alarm starts going off, say if I put the siren on, uh, <coughs> you press the arm button a second time to, to you know to make it. Uh, not a silent alarm anymore. So if I kick it just lightly. Okay, that's too light. So as you can see, that's, if I 
fucking loud. And the cat is curious. Right, okay, let's set it back to silent alarm. What's on that? <coughs> yeah, so that's a quick overview. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Uh, I didn't really cover the installation because I, I had a my business partner do it. Um, but it gives you some idea of what the alarm is capable of. So let's see if the cat jumps in it. That should set it off. No, I think he's too scared of the sound. <laughs> used to sleep on a bike before I put the alarm on, but, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.